I hope you guys enjoyed my duck a l'orange. Four, uh, the four recipe, four. <laughs>
all the way through the skin into the meat. Don't cut into the meat at all. You wanna just like maybe halfway through um, the skin, you know, make a little cut. So I'm just gonna do a little cross hatch pattern. So we scored both the breasts and the legs. Let's pat them dry a bit. Make sure they're as dry as you possibly can get them. All right, now we're going to liberally season these with salt and pepper on both sides. So just like with chicken and beef, you can dry brine these for up to 24 hours to extract all that moisture if you want to. Some freshly cracked black pepper. All right, so now whether you dry brine them or not, you wanna let them come up to room temperature for 30 minutes to an hour. So while our duck is coming up to room temperature, we're going to make a part of our sauce that's called gastrique. So we are going to take half a cup of our sugar Pour it into a pot. And then a quarter cup of water as well. We're gonna turn on our stove, there we go, to medium heat. And we're going to constantly stir the sugar and water mixture until it comes to a boil. So now our mixture is at a boil, so the sugar has all melted. So I'm gonna turn down the heat just a little bit to low and we're going to let this mixture simmer for about probably almost 10 minutes until it's this deep mahogany color. All right, so while that is simmering, let's go ahead and cut up our orange. We're going to peel some of the zest off. We just need like two big pieces like that. And then, and that's gonna be for when we reduce our stock and we'll peel the rest of this orange like that as well. All right, and then we're gonna slice these into just little matchsticks. All right, now we're gonna juice our orange. Let's see how much we can get out of this. Oh, this one is not juicy whatsoever. All right, our sugar is that deep mahogany color. So we are going to add in our red wine vinegar and we're going to do it just a little bit at a time because it is gonna bubble up. If you've ever made caramel, it's kind of the same thing. So add in a little bit and just stir it through. Ah, it gets kind of bubbly and it gets hot. So just a little bit at a time. And once it kind of calms down, then you can add in the rest and it's not a big deal. Start there. Woo, can really smell that vinegar. Going up in my nostrils. So we're gonna bring that back down to a sim I mean back up to a simmer, and we'll reduce it for about two minutes. Alright, our gastric has been reducing for about two minutes. We're gonna turn it off, turn off the heat, and we're just gonna put this aside for now, and this is gonna go in our sauce later. All right, so now we're ready to sear our meat. So I'm gonna pat these dry just a little bit. Some of that moisture, or that salt brought out some of that moisture. Now, the way we're gonna do this is we're going to use two pans. We want the thighs to be cooked all the way through where the breasts are not. So the thighs are obviously gonna take longer. So we'll have two pans. We'll do the thighs in one, the breasts in the, in the other. The breasts are gonna take less time to cook, so we'll finish off our sauce while the thighs are still cooking in our pan that had the breasts. So now this is gonna go against everything you've been taught, but we are not gonna turn on our pan. We are going to just put our thighs in skin side down in a cold pan. It sounds crazy, I know, and it's so weird doing this because you don't normally want to do this. Um, but we'll, we'll put it in cold and then we're gonna turn on the pan to medium heat. You don't want it too hot. So we're going to, so we're going to slowly heat this pan up so there's enough time for all that fat to render out. So we're gonna cook the thighs like this for about probably like 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna put these on the stove behind me and we'll start our breasts. So same thing with the breasts. 
put them in cold, a cold pan and we're going to turn on our pan to medium and let our pan slowly heat up. All right, so this is the sound that you want to hear. You don't want it to be super sizzling and sputtering, you know, oil everywhere like when you sear a steak, but you also don't want like nothing happening either. You want kind of just like a nice gentle bubbling, I guess. So like with the duck legs, we're gonna let these cook on the skin side for about 15 to 20 minutes as well. All right, our duck legs have been searing for about 18 minutes, so we're going to flip them. Look at that nice crispy skin. All right, so now our oven is preheated to 400 degrees. We're going to put our thighs in there for about 15 minutes until they're cooked all the way through. All right, so now our duck breasts have been searing for about 18 minutes. We're going to flip them. That beautiful sear on there. Nice and crispy skin. We're gonna turn up our stove to medium high now. So we're gonna cook these to 125 degrees. With the carryover cooking about five degrees, it's gonna end up being a temperature of 130 degrees, which is perfectly medium rare. So this is gonna probably take about five minutes. While our duck legs continue to cook, we're going to do our sauce. All right, so we are going to dump out all of this fat. There's a lot of duck fat. Save that though, it goes amazing on potatoes, vegetables. All right, so now we're going to turn on our stove to medium high heat. The pan is already pretty hot because it was already searing our duck breast. So we're going to be using beef stock today. Like I said, we're doing an easy duck a l'orange. Typical duck a l'orange recipes, you're going to make your own homemade duck stock, but that takes 12 plus hours. It's a long process. So we're using beef stock here, but there is a lot of fond, the stuck on bits from that duck, and we're going to incorporate that into our sauce. So our sauce is still going to be super flavorful and delicious. Don't worry. So we'll deglaze our pan with this stock. We're gonna add in our juice of one orange and our big pieces of the zest. And then just make sure you scrape the bottom of the pan to get all those stuck on bits. And we'll bring it up to a simmer and we're going to reduce this stock until it coats the back of the spoon. So while our sauce is reducing, we're going to blanch our orange zest. I've got some water. Uh, boiling right here. We're gonna drop our orange zest in and blanch them for about two-ish minutes. This is going to soften them and just make them a little less bitter. All right, we'll remove them with a slotted spoon. All right, so our sauce has reduced down. So, and the way we know that it's ready, so if you take like a metal spoon like this, coats the back of the spoon, you run your finger through it and it leaves a trail. All right, we're going to remove this orange zest. So this is where our gastrique comes into play. We are going to add in about a tablespoon at a time and always remember to taste after adding one tablespoon. And this is really up to your taste buds, how you like it. It's gonna add that acidity to our sauce. Let's mix that in and we'll taste it. So actually that's perfect right there. I don't want any more of that. You can save that. It goes great drizzled over some vegetables. All right, we're gonna add in a bit of our zest. Don't, the sauce has reduced down quite a bit, so we're probably not gonna use the whole thing. Make sure you taste your sauce. If it needs more salt and pepper, go ahead and add it. Uh, there is, There was a lot of salt and pepper from the duck breast already in the pan when we started the sauce, so mine doesn't need any. Last thing we gotta do is stir through some of this butter. I always like to finish my sauces with butter. It kind of makes them a bit more creamier. Just adds a nice touch to it. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of this thigh and just show you how juicy and delicious it is. Mm. 
super juicy and tender. It's absolutely delicious. All right, let's cut into the breast and we'll plate this one up. can see some of that pink, nice and medium rare. All right, let's pour some of this delicious sauce on there. All right, I'm so excited to try this duck breast. Just cuts through like butter. The sauce is super orangey, a bit acidic, but also super flavorful and rich from that beef stock and the duck fond. Duck may seem really intimidating and something you would only get at some fancy restaurant, but as you can see, it's really not that hard. Uh, don't be afraid to give it a try. I hope you guys enjoyed my easy duck a l'orange. The full recipe can be found on my food blog at lagameats.com. I've got new delicious dishes coming out every week, so hit a like and subscribe below. I'll see you guys next time. Hey-do.